When we talk about the new people emerging during this time of the seventh fire, does that include the people of the four races? There are four colors on the, on the uh, medicine wheel, and that's red, uh, yellow, black, and white. And we see those as the uh, four races of uh, human beings that uh, will come together in the time of the seventh fire. And uh, in Anishinaabe tradition, it's Anishinaabe that uh, will more or less lead the way. Anishinaabe were given that, that gift of uh, Mashkiki, or the medicine. And that's a knowledge of uh, how to live in harmony and balance with all things in the natural world. With Mother Earth, plants, uh, animals, and, and all humans in a state of uh, harmony and balance. Speaking about uh, Mother Earth, it's a sunny day, the sap is flowing, you're looking forward to the uh, sugar bush. Yeah, we've uh, made uh, preparations already and we won't be able to uh, get out into the sugar bush and tap any trees until after the powwow uh, Saturday. Might be a little late getting started, but I think we can get off at least one good boil. Jeremiah told me that uh, once in a while he sings to the uh, porcupines out in your sugar bush. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do they, What do they do that? What's that? When When he sings to the porcupines. Oh, I, I don't. I don't know. I. He's. He. I w probably wasn't around when, when he did it. Okay. <laughs> he said that he can. He likes to sing a lot, and he. Yeah. Uh, he's a he's a Celtic druid. Uh huh. So he would be like a medicine man in uh, old European tradition, huh? Right. Okay. In a tradition that uh, that goes back a lot further than Judaism, Christianity, Islam, or any of the other more modern religions. That's one of the oldest in the world along with, uh, well, the nature-based religions, like uh, Anishinaabe religion and uh, the Celtic religions, those all predate uh, the more modern. This is Nick Vanderpie and Joe Rose up at Northland College for IndianCountryTV.com.